I feel like everyone has their favorite Street Fighter character. And if you're correct, it's Kid Masters. Well, I'm joking, mostly. But for all of you guys and gals that can claim that Kid Masters is your ride or die Street Fighter character, today we'll be going over and learning how to become a real life Kin. Where I will literally teach you how to do some of his actual moves that he does in the games. And for everyone else who has another Street Fighter character who is your favorite, let me know who it is down in the comments cause I might do them next. I'm curious if you can figure out which one is mine. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a super row hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. This is the point of the video where I casually remind you to give the video a like or a dislike. It helps me gauge whether you guys like the content and make the channel even better for you guys overall. But before we get into Ken's fighting style, let's catch everyone up on who Ken Masters actually is. Ken is known for his fiery personality and impressive martial arts skills. Born into a wealthy family, Ken began his training as a young boy, training alongside his best friend Ryu, which I'm sure you've heard before once or twice. The two share a great and strong rivalry as they compete to see which one of them is the best. He is very brash and confident in his fighting, but also has a strong sense of honor and loyalty deep down, always coming to the aid of his allies when necessary. And yes, he does have serious protagonist best friend energy. Well, that's just kind of what he is. In combat, his fighting style is quite similar to Ryu, which makes sense considering that they have the same master. However, he's going to gear his priority to speed and style over Ryu's priority of power. Meaning that for his fighting style, we're gonna learn the same styles, but as we train, we will focus on our speed over our power. That's all that means. And personally, I have a lot of experience with this because that is something I did exactly. And in turn, that makes Joel, if you've seen Joel in one of the more recent videos, it makes Joel the Ryu, because he definitely focused on power. Now, obviously, I already covered Ryu, but if you didn't watch the Ryu video, let's talk about the two styles that we are going to learn. His fighting style is going to be a mix of Shotokan, and Hapkido. Shotokan being a popular style of karate that was developed in the early 20th century. It emphasizes strong linear techniques and powerful strikes, focusing on, well, practical self-defense, which is why he's a fighter. The style uses all kinds of techniques from hands, feet, knees, elbows, uh, shins, even shoulders in some situations. It, can, it is a excellent striking art. And so we're going to spend half our time with Shotokan Karate and the other half we are going to spend in Hapkido. Hapkido is a Korean martial art that focuses on self-defense techniques similar to Shotokan, even coming from a similar time period, that being the early 20th century. However, with Hapkido, we're going to get joint locks, throws, and grappling techniques added into our arsenal, making a great partner for Shotokan that is focused on strikes. Now that we got that covered, let's get into a fighting combo from Ken. Today we're going to be going through uh, <laughs> learning how to do a round kick and this round kick combo uh, that we see Ken do in the game. Uh, it, it's kind of simple, but it's really important that we understand how to do a round kick correctly in order to do one like he does uh, in this combination right here. Now, in order to understand the round kick, if you haven't already you know, seen my video about it that I've already done with the kicking through the summer course, you definitely should check that out. But we're just gonna go over a quick overview here. For our round kick, you're gonna start in kind of a guard stance, just like so. Uh, and you're going to rotate our front foot out, not in towards our body, but out away from our body. This will allow us to get our hips to turn sideways and allow us to chamber, pointing our knee at our target, and kick across, just like we're kicking something off of a table, just like so. This is the base of the round kick. Now you can do it at different levels and spin and do other things, which we're going to go into, but if you don't have the rotation of the foot, and pointing the knee at your target first before kicking through, you won't be able to do the full combination. So take a second if you need, practice that part, um, and you can pause the video, come back to the video and do whatever. But again, you need to be able to do 
a round kick correctly first. Then we're gonna work on our different height levels of a round kick. For now, we're gonna go with knee being low, head being high, and body or ribs being the standard. We're gonna do a middle or standard, low, high, <clears throat> and then knee again. Ooh, is it middle, high, low, high, knee? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excuse me. We're gonna be doing middle, high, then low, then high, and then a knee to the head again. Just going through that spin all together. Uh, the key to doing this is keeping your spinning foot in place. As you kick through, it's important to pivot on this foot, but you're not wanting to step around like this. You just wanna pivot just like so. The foot stays relatively in place and you spin around it. Now, starting off with that round kick going to the body, you're gonna turn that foot sideways, round kick to the body, and reset just like so. And again, pivot your foot, and then head height kick, bang, and then pivot like so. Again, you were just doing it one after another. Turn your foot again, knee kick, bang, pivot, head kick again, bang, pivot, knee strike, the same way you just don't actually throw the kick. And when you do it all together, it looks like one, two, three, four, and five. From here, we're not done. Yes, you might be getting dizzy, uh, and I'll help you with that in a second, but <laughs> we're not done. From our knee strike, we're gonna do what's called a tornado kick. And again, I'm gonna cover it in more depth in the kicking course that I've been releasing every Friday. But <laughs> for now, all we're going to do is from our knee, we're gonna step our foot down, not pivot through, but step down. We're gonna twist and look at our target again. We're gonna point our left knee towards our target. You're gonna switch and throw another round kick. And that's when he starts flying, which I haven't figured out how we can fly yet. If you can figure that out, let me know. But we're getting close, as, as close as we can to the combo in real life. So again, once we do that knee, we step, we point our knee, we switch and we round kick. All the way through, that kick specifically will look like that. <laughs> and then when you do the full combination all together, you want to spot with your eyes, making sure you pick a point and look at it every single time you spin. But when you do it all together, it'll look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo, just like that. Man, it's a lot of kicks. My man, my man really goes hard on the kicks. But let's get back to the video. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait for you to see the next one. Obviously, if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member and hitting that join button. Not only will you get your name at the end of the video, uh, but you'll also be, you know, part of what makes this channel even better because the more you guys support me, the more time I can put into making content like this for you all. But I've taken up enough of your time. I hope you enjoyed the video because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. Perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...